Hi, and welcome to our channel. Our topic today is audio interfaces. For home recording with your computer, you need to use an audio interface because instruments, microphones, headphones, and speakers require one to operate. We will show you the best audio interfaces for less than $300 that are currently available on the market. For this, we've evaluated tests and options and added them up to an overall score. In third place, we have the Motu M4, approximately $270. Video Active rated it as very good, and customers rated it with 1.3. Very good sounding four channel audio interface. Strengths, excellent sound, extremely low latency, four input channels, plus MIDI in and out, logically structured connection and control panels, and the weaknesses, it only has one headphone jack. If your microphone lacks a USB port for connection to the computer, a USB audio interface will help. For example, the Motu M4, which comes with a jack and the new USB Type-C standard, which in this case does not offer a speed advantage over the USB 2.0, but it is smaller and more convenient to plug in. On the input side, there are two combo jacks for XLR and jack as well as line-in plugs for channel 3 and 4. MIDI contacts in and out and output sockets, including a connection for headphones, round off the equipment. The tester from Video Active describes the controls as first class. They're sensibly placed, easy to grip, set firmly and run smoothly. Input and output levels can read on the luxurious color display. In terms of sound, the audio interface is just at the top of its test field. It sounds excellent and shows an extremely low latency on the input and output side. All in all, it's enough for a purchase tip. Motu is known for high quality interfaces and converters in the mid to upper price range. With the M series, however, the US manufacturer ventures into the competitive price range of interfaces around $200 US. The Motu M4 is the four channel version of the USB interface and is extremely handy and lightweight. The high resolution display, which shows the input and output levels in detail, immediately catches the eye. However, the main focus of the Motu M4 is not on fancy features or elaborate software, but solely on delivering excellent sound for an affordable price. On the front panel, you can see that the Motu M4 is equipped with two microphone inputs, which are combo jacks, so that line and instrument signals are also accepted. The preamps deliver nicely with a maximum gain of up to 60 decibels. Of course, both channels can supply a microphone with 48 volts, phantom power, and the channels can be switched individually to direct monitoring. The four outputs can be found on the rear of the panel and are doubled so that each channel can be tapped once as a balance jack and once as an RCA. Finally, there is a MIDI interface. The Motu M4 comes completely without bells and whistles. The heart of the Motu M4 is formed by the ESS Sabre 32 Ultra Converters, which are already known for much more expensive interfaces such as the Apogee Symphony. They offer a dynamic range unprecedented in this price range and an extremely low noise floor. Last but not least, Motu has also gone all out with the USB driver. The included driver allows for a latency of under 2 milliseconds round trip, which is really an excellent value for a USB interface. There's almost no need to resort to direct monitoring at all. The Motu M4 is therefore primarily aimed at musicians and producers who want an uncompromising sound without having to pay a fortune for it. The U.S. manufacturer of digital audio hardware from Cambridge, Massachusetts was founded in 1981 and since then has stood out for its thoughtful and novel concepts. Its range includes USB, Thunderbolt and network audio interfaces, MIDI interfaces, but also video hardware and the DAW software, Motu Digital Performer. Apart from that, Motu released Mouse Stampede, one of the first arcade games for the Apple Macintosh in 1984. So at Motu, you get good and reliable products and with a good portion of creativity and wit, usually at a very fair price. The Motu M4 is truly a versatile interface. Its low latency and excellent sound make it eminently suitable for vocal recording at home or on the road. But also live, the M4 is a reliable partner when it comes to playback of backing tracks and software instruments or to loop an instrument live through the DAW. What's more? The large, bright display makes it a real eye-catcher, a solid, fast interface that is reduced to the essentials. There's not much more to say, except the performance is exceptionally good and the price is fair. In second place, we have the Audio Probe Spartan A. 
approximately $185, tested by Beat with 6 out of 6 points. The Spartan A audio interface from AudioProbe can almost completely convince the trade magazine Beat in the test. The editors rated the interface with 6 out of a maximum possible 6 points. The small, lightweight device impresses with its compact dimensions and convinces with its solid construction. The housing, which is mostly made of aluminum, is robust. All components, with the exception of two small switches, are solid. The connection to the computer, as well as the power supply, is done via a USB 2.0 port. The Spartan A also knows how to impress to a high degree in terms of sound, according to the editors. The interface is just as suitable for recording as it is for sound design and mix applications. It is recommended as a high-quality entry-level model. On the input side, an XLR microphone jack and a high-impedance JFPET instrument input are also provided. Stereo feed is not possible, but condenser microphones can be operated. On the output side, the interface has two balanced line connectors and two headphone outputs. MIDI equipment can be connected via a DIN input and output. With the Spartan A, the still young hardware company, AudioProbe, would like to have developed an interface that, despite its low price, does not have to hide from its upper-class bolides. In the accompanying brochure, the company draws comparisons to RMEs, Fireface devices, which are priced in the upper three to four digit range. According to the manufacturer, the exceptional sound quality was achieved through meticulous development work. The sound quality of the Spartan A was fully impressive in the test. All frequency ranges are represented cleanly and evenly. The richness of detail also proves to be exemplary for a budget interface. Only the bass reproduction could have been a bit clearer or more precise. But this is more of a matter of taste than a real point of criticism. Microphone and instrument inputs hardly show any noise, even at high amplification values. The honest sound impression continues here as well. The latencies for AD and DA conversion could easily be pushed down to around 7 milliseconds at 44.1 kHz, and even less than 3 milliseconds were feasible at 192 kHz. Recordings are thus no problem, even without the help of the direct monitoring function. However, despite the consistently positive impression, the results do not come close to those of an RME Fireface. The Noble Behemoth themes a good deal more detailed and open and in contrast to the rather round sound of the Spartan A. It also reproduces transients more precisely. The Spartan A is an excellent choice for all beginners who do not want to do without high quality sound despite a tight budget. The interface is equally suitable for recording, sound design, and mixing applications. And thanks to its rock-solid construction, it is also a reliable partner on the road. If you want to record stereo material from a synthesizer or mixer, for example, you can alternatively reach for the Spartan Q110. By the way, you can find this and all other tested interfaces linked below in the video description. And in first place, Solid State Logic SSL2+, approximately $190. According to Videoactive, very good. Practical desk design, flawless sound. Strengths, good sound. Sound optimization with SSL circuit, 4K. Software, Abletron Live Light. Avid Pro Tools First, included. MIDI in and out, USB type C for power and data. Two headphone jacks, comfortable to use thanks to the console design and logical button structure. And weaknesses, no headphone jacks are located on the back and no printed manual in German. Two-channel interface in desk form, which can be operated more comfortably than one in front design, if there is enough space. Video Active awards plus points for the clearly structured controls. A small drop of bitterness, Solid State Logic has banished the headphone jacks to the back. They would be better off on the top of the console for quick switching. The rear panel also features MIDI contacts, four RCA, and two jack outputs, as well as a USB Type-C port that provides the interface with power and data. Two combo inputs for XLR and jack round off the connection field. In the listening test, the SSL2 Plus is convincing all around. Even with activated SSL sound switching, pressing the 4K button significantly enhances the input signal. According to the experts, the mids appear more concise, trebles more brilliant, the button press can be useful for musty sounds and mumbling voices, according to the tester's recommendation. The SS2 Plus is the first audio interface of the traditional British company Solid State Logic, 
which is well known to many musicians and sound engineers for its large mixing consoles, especially the consoles of the 4000 series, have a legendary reputation and visually as well as sonically. The SSL 2 Plus interface is supposed to remind of this series. The legacy 4K switch provides sound, coloration in both channels along the lines of the 4000 series, but more on that later. Apart from this special feature, the SSL 2 Plus presents itself as a typical two-channel USB interface with LEDs, MIDI, and a large monitor control at a, for SSL standards, surprisingly low price. The two inputs on the back of the 2x4 interface are designed as combo jacks, so both microphones, optionally with 48 volts phantom power, and instruments can be connected. In addition to the two main outputs and the two headphone jacks, each with a large jack. There are also MIDI, four RCA outputs, and the USB Type-C port that supplies the SSL2 Plus with power. The first thing that catches the eye on the top is the large baby blue monitor level control, which funnily enough goes up to 11 and not just 10. Spinal Tap sends its regards. There are knobs for gain, phones, and direct monitoring, crossfading between input and the signal coming in via USB. The SSL2 Plus is designed for sound and quality conscious beginners who can get by with only two inputs and who like the present and concise sound of the SSL 4000. The 4K switch boosts the treble on the one hand and provides subtle harmonic distortion on the other. The two inputs can be switched from line to high Z, so a good conceivable scenario would be recording the vocals with a condenser microphone and an electric guitar at the same time. The RCA jacks are interesting for DJs among others. If you don't need MIDI jacks and not more than two inputs, you can also go for the smaller brother SSL2. Solid State Logic SSL, a British manufacturer of high-end mixing consoles and hardware founded by Colin Sanders in 1969, is based in Big Broke, Oxfordshire. Initially, the company was involved in the transistorized control of church organs, hence the name Solid State Logic. At the end of the 1970s, the triumph of the large mixing consoles began with the 4000 series, and later the 6000 and 9000 series were still successful and in use in countless recording studios around the world. In 2005, Peter Gabriel and David Engelke became majority owners of the company, which was sold to Audiotronics Group in 2017. The SSL2 Plus is not heavy with a good 800 grams, but quite stable. In addition, quite compact and is powered via USB, so it is very well suited as a mobile interface, which can be used, for example, on a laptop with a DAW. As a class-compliant device, it does not require a driver for the Mac, while there is suitable software for Windows on the SSL site. To get you started right away as a beginner, there's a small software package included. SSL native plugins, Vocal Strip 2, and Drum Strip. The beginner DAWs Avid Pro Tools first, plus plugins, and Ableton Live Lite, 1.5 gigabytes of loop cloud samples, and native instruments hybrid keys and complete start. And that's it for today with our detailed comparison of the best audio interfaces for less than $300. I hope I could help you a little bit with your purchase decision. If so, please leave a like and a subscription. And don't forget to click the notification bell. That would really help us and the channel. And maybe you'll tell us in the comments which product you like best, and which one you might have already decided on. Thanks for watching, and see you very soon. See you next time.